Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Hey guys, it's Bugs, and today guys, I just want to talk to y'all why I believe multiverses might break the internet tomorrow and go viral, and let's get straight into the video. Number one guys, the game is free to play, so that means this gives unlimited access to everyone that has a platform to play their game and give it a try whether they like it or not, and they're not binded to a paywall to actually try their game, so I think that's amazing. Number two, the game is going to be cross-play and cross-progression. If you don't know what it means is that you're able to play on any platform with your friends whether you're on sony or xbox or pc you get to play with them which is amazing because i know a lot of friends that are on different platforms and this allows you to play with your friend no matter what platform you're on and also cross progression for the people that do play on pc or multiple you know consoles for whatever reason and able to bring you know whatever console to another place and be able to play it so for example say you know one one of your locations you have a ps4 and the next location you go to has an xbox you're allowed to play on you know that's uh, platform and still have all your stuff which is amazing number three we have is iconic characters and unique voice acting guys we literally have a troll that a troll character that the internet made called ultra instinct shaggy bro and pfg said you know what this is what the internet want or we're gonna do it and they literally add him to the game not to mention iconic characters that we already know like harley superman batman wonder woman and well-known tv show characters like bugs bunny taz um Finn, Jake, Garnett, and all of them, and then movies that are dropping, oh, and Arya Stark, let me not forget that, and then a movie character, which is the Iron Giant, and many, many more that we could see in the future, and not only that, we got not no BS, you know, sound effects of their characters, no, we have full voice line acting of them talking and actually communicating with each other, characters that we thought we would never see even talk to each other are literally talking in this game, which I think is so crazy to even think about that, it's going to draw so many people into this game just to see it themselves and play it themselves number four the gameplay is unique i don't think this gameplay is this game is like any other you know a lot of people is going to compare this to brahala or smash or just platform fighters in general but guys this game plays like its own i don't think there's any game like it literally the gameplay is so unique none of the characters play the same at all they all have their own niche and they have their own like thing that for literally from their show like what like would you expect them to play as is exactly how you're gonna see it in this game bro and possibly even more like for example velma did you think velma will ever get into a fighter ever pfg said hell yeah and they already had a gameplay and her moveset and stuff you tell me velma get us into this game i'm just thinking like what can she do drop her glasses which is funny is that she actually do have a moveset that allows her to drop her glasses as a moveset but everything else bro you i could not think of one other moveset but pfg did it and she's amazing and she's a great character I actually play as which is just crazy to me and guys it's just it's definitely worth it to play if you haven't already number five that this game is maining on 2v2s now if you didn't know um, fighting games used to be a very popular thing back then, but I think the reason why it kind of dwelled down and not popular anymore is because of multiplayer games, you know, that allows you to do 3v3, 4v4, 5v5s, shoot even MMOs that allows you to play with hundreds of people in one server. And I think, you know, seeing all that, it's like, why would I keep playing a one-on-one -on -one game when I could play with multiple people and have more fun playing with more people? And I know 2v2s isn't crazy of a big increase but at least it allows you to play with that special somebody or your best friend or you know someone that's really good at the game also and you know y'all just go at it and go against other people in the world you know it's gonna be a fun time and i think that's what um it's gonna draw more people into you know playing fighters like oh i get to play with my friend instead of going against my friend all the time you know so i think that's a huge thing for this game and number six we have is esports and if you know me you already know what i'm gonna say but pretty much i feel like every game needs an esports besides you know like open worlds and stuff but it gives its longevity of of, you know playing and stuff you know it gives people a reason to play and um people to you know look forward to and grind for even you know watch people you know enjoyment excitement of watching someone at a higher level that they can't reach like example sports you know why do people watch sports it's because they can't do um what you know what people do on those sports things so they watch it because it's entertaining for them so same thing with this it's gonna be a huge entertainment thing to look forward to and again possibly learn from people and stuff it's just gonna be such an amazing time number seven third party east um event support which um the devs talked about is in like like land centers or like to's third party people that want to run tournaments pfg is 
going to want to help them in any support in ways that they need to um, run tournaments, you know, for the game, which I don't know what it's going to be, but they'll probably have something down the line that explains, you know, what they can do that can help you out or if they can, whatever, um, like ideas that they have that they can help, you know, so it's going to be an amazing thing to, to see that they're supporting, you know, um, third party people and grass events. I want grassroot, I think it's called in the FGC community. But yeah, number eight guilds. I'm not going to really talk about this because it kind of leaks. Like, we do know there's going to be guilds, but we just don't know what's going to be in. But if you do know, there's a lot of stuff that's going to be in guilds, apparently. Um, and, yeah, let's just say, like, if they do it correctly, I think it's going to be something very unique um, in the FGC community. And just gaming in general, you know, something to actually use. Because, you know, in most games, all it is is just a group of people in a guild. It's, they just say that you're part of, like, I guess, a friend group, and then that's it. So to actually see that they're doing, you know, what they're doing. Again, not going to talk about it, you know, when it happens, when it happens. But let's just say they're doing a lot for guilds, and I can't wait to see that. Number nine, the casual game will support. Guys, these guys are pretty much, it kind of goes into number 10 too, is a live service support. Guys, they are here to support the players and what they want. They can have ideas, and they're going to have the ideas, obviously. Same with players. And if the player, you know, base wants something, it looks like they're down to, you know, actually do it if the community wants it as much as you know it's being said and stuff so they are here to support what the community wants versus not saying like a versus their own ideas but it's more like hey this is our picture that we're thinking of but if the community could convince us that they want it this way we're down to do it which i think is an amazing thing that devs um like other devs should you know take into considerations because like even though you do you are making the game and you know your decision most likely could be right who's playing your game you know as long as it's not broken or you know out of crazy wonk bonk as long as the community is like hey we prefer this why would you not want to do that to keep your player base happy you know so i think that's just an amazing thing to do um and then going back to the whole the whole um casual game mode thing is like they're gonna be adding like a whole bunch of game modes like the only ones that they've talked about that i remember was like sports like soccer and basketball like in a fighting game i would love to see how they're gonna do that will they actually just be like a troll where you hit it a certain way or will they actually be able to actually play a, a, a like a 2d version basketball i think that would be pretty funny and then if you know a game i think it's called motor combat armageddon but you know how they had fun game modes like they had racing and stuff imagine if multiverses had that so you're not only just playing fighting and you know just trolling and doing all this stuff you had to able to play other game modes within the game like that i think that would be so cool and unique and they'll give more of a player base to the game you know um and then finally bro it kind of goes into the same thing i've been saying but it's the dev support bro if you don't know Tony and the team, their support and their like their love for this game is really high and their love for their player base and their community is so high that it looks like they would do anything that we want them to do. And I don't mean like, you know, whatever we say they're gonna do, but it's just like this is their baby, you know. This game is what they've been, you know, working on for how many years, you know, probably like two, three years and they want this to be something. It doesn't look like a money scheme or money grab like, oh, we have these IPs, people are gonna buy it because, you know, we're backed up by Warner Brothers, so we're gonna do bullshit and then people are gonna buy it and then that's it. No, it looks like they want this game to be here for years, for decades at most, you know. I I think they definitely want this to be something and not know, okay, we did a good job, we made money, all right, peace guys, or you know, do the bare minimum. They want to do the maximum so people love it and people enjoy it and more people get into the game more and more and I can't wait to see that man. And yeah, that was that was my rant of why I feel like what they're doing is gonna really um, make this game go viral and break the internet tomorrow. When you're able to play, if you don't know, you're able to play the game tomorrow. Um, multiple ways to get in. I'll, at the end of the video, it's literally gonna show y'all um, a video um, of like how to get in because there's like 400% ways to get in. Even if you didn't play the playtest, there are multiple ways to get in. Whether it's um, watching a stream for an hour, um, whether it's you know having access whether it's just buying the founder pack and then finally if you're going to evo you get access to that way too so leave a like if you like the video comment anything comment your ideas comment if y'all believe the game is actually going to go viral or is it going to flop I, i'm just curious man i would love to know uh, what y'all think and finally if you do enjoy multiverse videos then this is the channel for you guys because i do the tips and tricks I do the news, I do the gameplay, I do the esports, anything multiverse related, I do it here on this channel. And yeah, hit the subscribe button guys, and I'm out. Peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous. Got another five on the side, she a waitress, but it's getting tough. Hard to find